Have you ever heard somebody refer to a wine as being cool climate and wondered what they were talking about? Let me fill you in. So just as the name would indicate, there are wines that are made in a cooler growing region. Vitis vinifera, the major grapevine species that's used to make wine, is a Mediterranean plant. It likes hot, dry, sunny climates. And in these areas, it produces abundant crops of very ripe grapes. Whereas in cooler areas, the vine often struggles to fully ripen its grapes. So this is where it gets tricky. There is no formal definition or set rules as to what constitutes a cool climate. Various experts have developed measurement tools to try and classify climates as cooler or warmer on a spectrum, but each region has its unique climate, its unique weather patterns, so it's very hard to find a one-size-fits-all system that everybody can agree out. There's quite a lot of debate on the efficacy of these systems. One system is called growing degree days, and this measures heat accumulation during the growing season. Another one is called growing season temperatures, and this basically looks at average monthly temperature over uh, the seven months of the growing season. and Climates that are within a 13 to 15 degrees Celsius average temperature are considered cool in this system. So cool temperatures in cool climate growing areas can come from a variety of factors. It's not just a northerly or very southerly latitude. Uh, we can look at cooling ocean breezes or high altitude. So some regions that you've typically thought of as being very hot California, Chile for example, actually do possess cool climate growing regions. A vine struggling to ripen its fruit may sound like a bad thing, but in the right producer's hands, cool climate wines can be incredibly refreshing and very elegant. They are generally lighter in body with higher, more vibrant acidity and lower alcohol. The fruit flavors range from quite tart to fresh with a lot of lemon or green to white fruit notes on white wines and quite tangy sort of cranberry, red berry or cherry notes on red wines. In comparison, warmer climates make wines that have softer acidity, uh, more baked or jammy fruit notes. They tend to be fuller in body with higher alcohol. In France, you can find cool climate wines in Champagne, in Burgundy, in the Loire Valley. In the US, parts of Oregon, the coastal areas of Sonoma, or Santa Rita Hills in Santa Barbara County can be quite cool. Tasmania in Australia, parts of the central Otago in New Zealand, and here in Canada, of Nova Scotia, Quebec, parts of Ontario, and BC. So if you like wines that are quite taut with nervy acidity, delicate aromatics, uh, lower in alcohol, check out Cool Climate Wines. If you like this video, don't hesitate to subscribe, shoot me a comment or share widely. And until next time, Santé!